Hello everyone! The Burning Legion has evaded answer once again, and hunters, they're able to pick up three different artifacts to empower them in this war. For Beastmaster hunters, it's going to be Titan Strike, a peerless example of techno magical engineering. Grip Wildheart, a dwarf that used to teach dwarven hunters how to tame their pets, he's been working with Bram Bronzebeard, searching the broken isles for any edge against the Legion. They've discovered that Titan Strike is in the tomb of Warlord for Lund, somewhere on the Isle of Shields Rest. A very cool guy named Proustage, she will help us with breaking the wards, and Griff knows what we're thinking, that the Vraiko are trouble, but this one, she hasn't taken a swing at him just yet. Keep your Hop on and let's get moving! All Huey don't bite! March! <laughs> to shield rest! Make yourself comfortable! It's a bit of a ride to Stormheim. Talk to you soon. Seems Bruce wants the Legion out of here as much as we do. Work night and day to find this tomb. Prustaga! Brought a friend to join us! As promised. I care nothing for friendship, soft earthen. So long as this one helps us enter the tomb, I will tolerate the intrusion. Mmm. Looks like some fools plundered the tomb and stirred up all sorts of spirits. Defiler. No. Not yours. Thief. Coveter. It belongs to me. Pipe down. We're after your gun for a good cause, ghosty! <sighs> Enough chatter! Move! Seems like the foolish paladins and warriors who went in here for their artifacts, they've stirred up all sorts of spirits that are now defending the tomb. So as we make our way in and destroy the wards guarding the tomb, let's talk about the history of Titan Strike and how it ended up here. Titan Strike was not conceived by immortal minds, nor was it crafted by mortal hands. This rifle traces its origins to a merful being named Mimiron. He was one of the Keepers, a race of noble creatures who warred with the old gods and imprisoned the wicked entities beneath the earth. Some of Mimiron's fellow Keepers, they could wield the fury of storms, while others were mighty warriors. But Mimiron's strength was not physical, it was mental. His intellect and creativity, it had no equal. Day and night, Mimiron tinkered away at unique mechanisms. He was especially fond of experimenting with weapons that the Keepers and the Servants could use to protect the world. When the Irvin suggested that Mimiron make something that could strike enemies from a distance, the Keeper devoted himself to the challenge. Before long, he developed the first firearm in history, a rifle known as Titan Strike. Now, Mimiron's inventions, they rarely worked as intended, at least not at first. He embraced the process of trial and error, often to the detriment of his faithful servant, the clockwork mechanomes. While testing one of his earliest versions of Titan Strike, Mimiron set part of his workshop on fire and he damaged over a dozen of the mechanomes. The Keeper learned a great deal from this disaster. After repairing his injured servants, Mimiron fine tuned the Titan Strike. He took the next prototype to a stormy mountain peak, a remote place where, if the weapon would go haywire again, no one would get injured. Mimiron's decision to test Titan Strike atop a mountain peak, that would prove disastrous, but it was also illuminating. He had forged the newest version of the rifle with a mix of rare metal alloys that unintentionally attracted electricity. When Mimiron fired the weapon, a bolt of lightning leaped from a storm cloud and blasted Titan Strike into two pieces. This didn't cause Mimiron to be angry or disappointed, he was actually ecstatic. The accident had given him an idea. The Keeper would reassemble Titan Strike and it would embrace its connection to the elements. He would infuse it with the power of storms itself, but in order to make this idea a reality, he needed Keeper for him. For him commanded the crackling powers locked within the skies. His lair, the Temple of Storms, it acted as a conduit for thunder and lightning. It would serve as the perfect forge to remake Titan Strike. One day, as an angry tempest churned over the temple, the two Keepers went to work. For him wrestled with the winds and lightning until they bent to his will. He gathered the storm and all its fury into a concentrated orb of energy called the Thunder Spark, and then he bound it to his temple. Mimiron was at the ready. He channeled the Thunder Spark into Titan Strike. Lightning rocked the temple before the keeper finally sealed the Rawful Storm inside the rifle. The Irvin have a legend of a time when the sky went simply mad. It is said that thunder rolled through the heavens from distant corners of Azeroth for weeks on end. Most of the keepers thought that something terrible might have happened 
sense that the sky itself was broken, but Mimiron ignored the sounds. Several keepers, led by Keeper Loken, they followed the thunderous noise across the world. They finally tracked its source to an island far to the south, where monsters, devil swords, and other skilled creatures roamed. There, the keepers discovered Forim and his two wargs, Hati and Skull, in the midst of a great hunt. Loken hurried to the keeper's side to warn him of the sky's unrest. That was when he realized that Forim himself was responsible. Forim had received Titan Strike from Mimron shortly after his creation, and he'd wasted no time in using it. His own energies amplified the rival's explosive power. Every time that he fired it, a thunderclap would split the heavens and rumble over the world. Now Yogg-Saron's whispers from his prison would eventually lead to betrayal and shatter the unity of the Keepers. Most were imprisoned within the fortress of Ulduar, to which Forum sank into a deep depression and secluded himself in the Temple of Storms. Even hunting no longer made the Keeper happy, and he stored Titan Strike in his lair. Ages passed, and the Keeper's servants spread across the icy north. The Vrykul eventually formed clans, and they sought to dominate the land. A warrior named Volund, he yearned for more than that. He dreamed of lording over every Vrykul, and to do so, he searched for the powerful mechanisms and weapons crafted by the Keepers. Volund's journey would bring him to a lone mechanome. The Vrykul took the defensive clockwork creature prisoner, and he forced him to reveal information about Mimiron's creations. From this mechanome, Volund learned of Titan Strike and its location. During his seclusion, Forim often drifted off into bouts of fitful sleep for years on end, while Hati and Skull, they roamed the wilds as they pleased. Volund, waited for one of these periods of slumber to steal away the titan strike. He ensnared a mighty proto-drake and he used the beast to ascend to the temple of storms. Right on the forum's nose, the bold Vraiku pilfered for titan strike and then he fled the keeper's lair. Now after forum awoke and discovered the titan strike was missing, he called Hati and Skull to his side. The wargs and the masters, they picked up on Fallen's trail and they stormed after him. Now the Vraiku, he nearly stayed one step ahead of his pursuers, but he knew that he could not do so forever. Forum and his wargs were legendary hunters and they would eventually track him down and punish him. Along with his captured mechanome and the relics he uncovered, Volund escaped. He journeyed far to the south to a land that he only heard stories of, a land known as Stormheim. Volund bragged of his might and he demanded that Stormheim's Vrykul followed his command. Of course, they did not obey him, not yet. A few Vrykul, they stepped forward to silence the arrogant newcomer and Volund felt them all with Titan Strike, each shot booming like a giant's footstep. When the Vrykul witnessed Volund's power, they were in awe. He wielded the strength of the Keepers, and therefore they believed that he must have earned the mythical being's favor. Volund declared himself warlord, and he rallied Stormheim's warriors under his banner. He and his army marched out from Stormheim to conquer the surrounding land for the glory of the Vrykul. The Ward of Volund had the strength of numbers and the weaponry needed to bring the lands around Stormheim to heal, but what he lacked was unity. As the Vrykul ranks made war against the mighty Drogbar near Stormheim, Volund grew suspicious of his followers. He believed that they were planning to murder him and take Titan Strike for themselves. After all, if he had stolen it from a keeper, surely someone could steal it from him. Volund's paranoia, it drove him to torture and execute many of his allies. The bulk of the Vrykul soldiers, they abandoned the crazed warlord, and his once formidable army crumbled. Many years later, as Volund neared death, he ordered his enslaved mechanome and his few remaining Vrykul followers to bury him alongside Titan Strike. The warlord used to keep a rot mechanisms he had stolen as defensive wards to keep grave robbers out of his tomb, and even in death, Volund would not let anyone touch his cherished rifle. The history behind this artifact, it does not mention what happened to Forim's hunt, but we do know how the weapon ended up in the tomb. The weapon has a history of betrayal and paranoia, and as so often happens, history would repeat itself. Look! The door's opening! Mm. Titan Strike is close. By Magni's beard! This Volan sure has a taste for Titan relics! Oh, looky here! A mechanome! Bran told me all about these things. It might be able to help us find Titan Strike! Now let's see. Plug this in over here. Realign the power unit. Remote Relay Observer Unit XR947 active. System status damaged. Rebooting. Please stand by. They're coming to life! System status functional. Rerouting commands to Maker's Console. Maker? Oh no. Please don't be him.
Bronzebeard? Ah, yes, there you are! My records show this unit has been inactive for millennia. It was stolen from my lab long ago. For the last time, I'm not Bran! Where is Titan Strike, little tinkerer? The gun is there? Most curious. Telemetry coming in. The Broken Isles, the Rykold Tomb. Ah, yes! I see it now! Oh, my stars! Yes, this is it! The lid is attuned to a particular frequency. I just need to transmit a signal like so, and... There it is! Mission accomplished! Thieves! Your heads will decorate my throne! None challenge me and live! You of flesh! are not worthy to wield the insolent whelps. Taste my steel! I am the scourge of the thousand planes! The terror of the army! I lost control. That wasn't so bad. Okay, grab Titan Strike so we can get out of here. You've played your part. Now I shall play mine. The heart of this weapon will infuse me with the might of the Titans! The Vrykul shall bow before me, their new God Queen! Not good? Not good at all? You should both join me in my workshop in Olduwar at once! We have a problem to solve! Oh, this is fortunate! Titan Strike's power has energized this teleportation pad. I should be able to reroute its destination. Success! Well, we can't stop now. What are you waiting for? Come on, Theodore! Excellent! You made it through in one piece! You can never be sure about the reliability of stolen teleporters. I'm preparing the diagnostic systems now. Say, you had quite an epic struggle with that ghostly Vrykul warlord. The thief had it coming if you ask me. Steam pump, check. Low ion energy converter units, check, check, and check. Let's recall that observation unit from Stormheim. Stormheim, Stormheim, ah, there it is. Engaging processors, initializing download relays. I don't anticipate any incompatibilities with my upgraded systems. Once the process kicks into gear, it should only take a minute or two to retrieve the information from XR-947 here. Just sit back and enjoy the science. <laughs> Those alarms indicate that we're encountering some minor technical difficulties with the fusion press unit. All you need to do is deactivate the two control panels over by the fusion press. Bronzebeard and I will man the central console. I'm not... Oh, for crying out loud! Did it? The flames are dying down! Astounding! Fusion system running at 98.33% efficiency! Repeating, of course. Oh dear. Now the Storm Leviathan unit is experiencing a target recognition system malfunction. Activate the stabilization matrix before it tears the whole lab apart!
Leviathan units stable. Excellent work. Most excellent indeed. Well, friends, the good news is the download is 89% complete. But we may also be experiencing a minor case of total system failure. I suppose there's no time like the present. This will either fix everything or destroy us. I need you to press the big red button labeled DO NOT PUSH THIS BUTTON! Yes, yes, I see. Oh, download complete. No, no, splendid no, no. work. Positively not splendid. Good at all. Please, join me at the control console. What is it? Where's Bruce Daga headed? Thorim's throne at the Temple of Storms. I suggest you get moving. We don't have much time. Use my teleportation pad to exit the workshop. We need to get you to the Temple of Storms before that Vrykul arrives. Pity you aren't joining Thorim under more pleasant circumstances. He's a lover of animals as well. Always going on and on about those wolves of his. Really now? It'll be nice to be around one of our own, eh? <laughs> Even if he is a bit tall for my liking. Indeed, Bronzebeard! Now hold on! I'm taking you in! Ah, Bronzebeard! Back again, I see. Hati has missed you, as has Skoll. Skoll? Ah, where has that warg run off to? <laughs> ah! And you are joined by one of the mortals who freed us from the grip of the old god. We must hold a feast to celebrate! It'll have to wait, Thorum. There's a crazed Vrykul on her way here to steal the power of Titan Strike. Then we shall slay the enemy together. Come, Vrykul! Face the fury of the storms! Theodore and I can take them for the wild! Titan Strike's power will be mine! Proust is headed for the throne! We've got to stop her! You shall witness my glorious ascension! Yes. I feel the power of the Makers coursing through my veins! You Do are not, not worthy my to vein. wield the fury of the storms, Vrykul! See reason, Proust? We're not your enemy! Your kind has long forced my people into servitude. No, Nova, a means to an end. Nothing more. I will not be denied. I shall become God Queen. You cannot stop me, fools. I just need more power. It is time we finish this. Hati, kill! It's too much for her. Watch out! She's gonna blow! Hattie! Oh, that poor wolf took the brunt of it. Is he? He is alive, but only barely. It appears this noble companion absorbed Titan Strike's energy, protecting us from the explosion. Even though Hadi is a creature of lightning magic, his body can't contain such intense power. My science cannot help him. I fear the Thundersparks' power is soon to be lost. I know your heart aches at Hati's loss, Hunter. Just as mine does. You have a kinship with the spirits of wild creatures greater than any I have seen before. Wait. That's it! If you bind Hadi's spirit to your own, you can channel the power back into Titan Strike! 
You'll save Hardy and restore the gun! By Odin's beard, you did it! From this day forth, I charge you to wield Titan Strike against the enemies of creation who would destroy this world. Hati's noble spirit is forevermore bound to the weapon. He will be a loyal companion to you in the dark times ahead. I've seen no finer hunter in all my days roaming the wilds. Your faith is well placed, Dharam. Let's get back to Dalaran. I'll call Huey. No matter how far I go, he manages to find me. Oh, Huey! And so, Beastmaster Hunters did not only gain a powerful artifact to build in this war, they also gained a mighty companion who will stay at their side even in the darkest of times. The Essence Swapper, that can be used to change Hati's atomic structure and easily change his appearance to match that of your pet. And if you miss Hati's look, just talk to Mimaran and he will be kind enough to return him to his original appearance. Now I've heard the feedback from players that they don't really feel like Titan Strike fits the Beastmaster class or Beastmaster fantasy, but I don't know, I personally like that they gave you a second unique pet tied to the weapon, but that might just be me. For now though, this is where the story of Titan Strike ends, as hunters will wield its might in the war against the Legion and their adventures through the Broken Isles. As always, thank you very much for watching everyone, subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time guys, see ya!